what is up YouTube, it's your boy, that franchise guy, and today we bring you a build up feels my career with, I'm going to find it eventually, outside linebacker, there, where, there it is, undrafted free agent out of Rowan University, if you guys don't know what Rowan University is, it's like a little D1 college in like the middle of New Jersey, and by D1 I mean like, it hits D1 by like the smallest of margins because they're trying so hard to be a big college that they've added like three campuses and a bunch of buildings and all this cool stuff there. So in other words, it's the college I currently go to. So that's my college and I am not a 6'5", 230 pound linebacker, unfortunately going to play for the Eagles. I am some guy recording a video for YouTube. So, now that we got that out of the way, if you guys pay eight hundred to Philadelphia Eagles, the thing with them is they need linebackers. And they didn't draft any linebackers at all during the draft. And it seems like they tried a little bit to get some pass rushers with Joe Yostman. He's a defensive end. I forget what college he came out of. But he was an undrafted free agent who has some pretty... Pretty wild speed on them, but they need linebackers. And that's where we're going to be playing. We're number 85. Don't know why I picked 85. I just kind of did. It's not even a linebacker number. It's like an offensive lineman number. But we're going to be playing out of number somewhere else for the Eagles. Hopefully we don't get cut. I mean, it's preseason. We can get cut. We're 66 overall. And we're just going to be doing training pretty much. Like We're not getting any playing time. We're the fourth string linebacker for outside linebackers on the right side. So we're mainly going to be training. And, well, just got to hope that uh, hope that we don't get cut. Hope that we impress impress the coaches as we get a little coverage drill right now. We're dropping, and I think that's man coverage. And we're doing a fairly adequate job. We're not the worst. We're locking people up. We've got the Blitz coming up right now, going after Wentz. And, I mean, we just can't hurt Wentz, really. We just got to do our best not to let too many big passes or any big plays in practice. Don't let uh, tight ends burn me or anything. Because if a tight end burns me in practice, a tight end's going to burn me in uh, the regular season. And uh, they don't want that because I'm supposed to be a zone-covering linebacker. But uh, practices, they seem to be going fairly well for the most part, it seems like. I don't see any, uh, you know, any big problems. We're, you know, we're hitting our goals. We're doing this and that. We're shrugging off some blocks by our uh, running back. So hopefully that's, that's something good. Uh, again, we got uh, here covering tight ends uh, for the most part. I feel that's going mainly what we're going to do. Occasionally we're going to get a receiver. But we got old man Sproles right here. He's going out. We actually went in for the sack. Got held up by the offensive linemen. Sproles was left wide open, so we can't let any of those plays happen. Because if Sproles gets into open field, he he can do some damage. And right now we're covering Sproles because we knew that was a mistake last time as they forced an interception or a fumble or something. Predators, for the most part, have gone pretty well. Are we in the huddle? We're not always in the huddle. I don't think we're in the huddle. All right, we got to kick out of the huddle. We didn't do that good. Weren't good enough for huddle, and we we didn't get any playing time the next week, so I think we're just on punt team right now. So I know you guys don't want to see me try and block punts, so we're gonna be skipping over that for the most part. Hopefully we get some playing time in, as we're just gonna pretty much be covering everyone in, uh, in preseason because this is this is so much fun. Yeah, I'm having a I'm having a huge blast right now, guys. We're just you know. Slaving away, got Jay Ajayi in. He's not much of a pass catcher, but uh, he went for the pass that time as we blew right by him. Now we're on Ertz right now, locking up Ertz, and we let up the catch, but thank God the safeties were there to back us up for that. That would have not been too well if uh, we left a touchdown right there in practice. Then again, Ertz is a top three tight end in the league, so it doesn't matter, you know. Can't be letting up touchdowns, tight ends, and practices. And we get a sack on Wentz. We force a fumble. 
look at that. That that's what you want to see out of out of Chance Bishop. I mean, what else would you want to see out of him? You don't want to see him dropping the coverage. You want to see him getting picks and sacks and everything and dropping into coverage because that's what we're doing. We're playing conservatively. We're just, you know, we just want our roster spot. We want a paycheck every week. We don't want to be trying out for the Bears or the Giants. We got an interception right there and the pressure we forced. Not a That's good for a goal. All this XP we got going right now, it's what we want. We need just a ton of XP. Especially because we're like, what, a 68 overall? What are we, we're a 66 overall. So yeah, we definitely need a lot of XP. So we got pass coverage, run stopper, speed rusher, power rusher. So now we got a little different things, but we're just going to be putting all pretty much into scheme fit because that's going to help us level up the quickest and um, we're just going to be you know we probably should send these trainings and make the video go like 10 minutes quicker but uh, I'm just going to take my time and uh, go through all the animations right there apparently because I don't know how to edit anymore I promise I'm like a bunch of episodes ahead of recording this one so the next like Six episodes are all recorded, and I promise they're not 16 minutes long. As we get a pretty nice tackle right there. We baited for an interception. We didn't get the interception, but we did get the tackle right there. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So this is just me like a 16-minute video of me rambling about uh, trying to get it big on YouTube, be a big sports guy, be a lot of franchise videos. Um, now speaking of franchises, I am going to do a franchise with the Philadelphia Eagles. It's just because they're my favorite team. Uh, I'm just waiting for a good draft class to come out. I have looked at the franchise guys. I'm just going to give it a little more time, see if another one comes out. But I'm pretty sure I'm going with that one. And I'm also just waiting for the NFL rosters to be a little better. I'm not too big on the overalls for like Wentz being only an 87. Not too worried about that. I'm just trying to find that has like the most correct rosters. Because for the longest time, uh, the Eagles had Marquise Wilson and like Marcus Wheaton on the team, and they hadn't been there for a while, and they've had like Curry Macon instead. So I'm just waiting for the most up to date rosters to come out. I know one did come out today, which I was filming, so I need to check that one out. So I'm probably gonna most likely gonna base it off that one, and I'm gonna take a look at the franchise guys draft class just one more time just to make sure. There's I guess enough players in there to have like a decent a decent draft, not go through like two rounds and like all right now we have computer generated guys because that's what it seems like a lot of these draft classes are. It's like oh we have the first round of the top players or we have the first and half a second and that's like oh cool five rounds of uh, auto generated rookies because that's what everyone wants to play with auto generated rookies. You get guys like C4 who have been doing this for years now, just having the, these awesome draft classes. But he's on PC, so this is a little different where you can like edit these players a lot quicker than I can because I have to go through like every step on the Xbox. I got to change the first, last name. You can just do whole name at one time and this and that. And oh man, I'm just, I'm just a lot of complaining. I just changed my name to a uh, the complaining guy, and we didn't do as good as that last practice. We has been in previous practices, so only a silver. So we're not quite blocking it down like we have been, or at least had the previous week. Have been plays more than one week, but excluding all my complaining, I'm going to do for all of these seasons and my franchise mode and everything I do. It's gonna be a lot of complaining. I'm definitely a complainer. I'm like, uh, oh man, what's a good? I'm like, uh, oh man, like Martell's Bennett, like two years, it's like, it's like five years ago when he got his like neck spun around by a rookie. I'm just gonna complain about how crappy the system is and how they mistreated me and this and that. And we're gonna get locked up in the offensive line. I mean, could have had a sack on Wentz. I know the upper management isn't gonna like that. As we somehow. Don't sack him there. We make up for the missing sack the first time by, like, pulling out his shoelace. 
So I don't know quite what happened there, and I'm kind of weirded out by how fast my guy moves. Like, he's 6'5", as we get a pick right there. He's 6'5", but he moves like a super nimble receiver, and I don't know how I really feel about that. As we do get it, we do hit him right there as he's throwing. So, imagine not going to like that. They're hitting our franchise QB, and I'm an undrafted rookie. But uh, not not aiming to kill, just uh, just aiming to, you know, send a message that uh, I belong on this team. But uh, I, don't, I lose my train of thought so easily. <laughs> so I really don't know. Uh, we're just blowing Wentz up. Jeez, as we throw another pick right there. But definitely look forward to franchise modes and this. I'm not going to overwhelm myself like I had been in previous series and try and get a bunch of content. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I like. I'm going to eventually get Twitch up and running again and start doing Twitch more. It's not going to be for at least a couple weeks, maybe. Um, I want to say like I'll start Twitch again in about two weeks, three to four at the most. So I want to. I do like Twitch. I do want to get back into all of that. Like it's, I don't. Wasn't that I didn't like it? I didn't enjoy it. Just that I just never had time to. Because I do work full time. I do work forty hours a week at the real job. I do prefer. I do really want this to be my real job because this is a whole lot more fun to do than watch dishes and cook on a grill and ask customers if they want chips or drinks. I do work at Chipotle, so. Chipotle shout out. Don't ever go to Chipotle. Chipotle's not even that good. But we do see right here that we make the 53 man roster. And we're in the we're in the starting lineup. I don't think we're in the starting lineup, but we just we make the 53 man roster. We didn't get cut, which is amazing. We went down to the last week. And I just was hoping hoping I didn't get practice squatted or cut or anything. I, I think I show my worth that I'm really good at man and zone coverage that a big aspect and I just really want to, I want to point out now definitely I'll point out again later I just really like the opening graphics of this game I'm not an EA game changer or anything so I'm not just saying that to you know keep my EA game changer status I just really like these graphics these, they, I know they don't look like too much different but like this look a little crisper like this stuff right here not this stuff this is the same as it always is like the Thursday night football and like the opening shot, it just, it just seems like it's a lot more crisper. Like this has been the same animation for like 30 years now of Madden. Same with this. This has been like the same animation since Madden 25. So I'm not knocking the game. I'm just uh, not all the way, I guess, impressed with what they could do because you see games like the show and what they have done and like NBA Live what they have done in five years and then you see what this game hasn't done five years as we get manhandled on the block by the tight end could have should have probably had attacker right there on Freeman but uh, we didn't now we're in goal line right now we're playing zone I don't know what I'm trying I'm not really sure what I'm trying to do I'm trying to bait him I'm trying to go for the hit and we Get baited ourselves. Matt Ryan out deep says we took a really bad run up to Ryan, try and get the sack, but uh, instead he gets the touchdown as we're just too far behind him. And now we're on punt team and we're getting pretty much in there, but our teammate gets the flag, roughing the kicker or the punter or the it's a, stu it's a really dumb, NFL has a lot of really dumb rules, especially this game has a lot of really dumb, really dumb rules. Like, that was roughing the kicker, so they get a, they got the ball back, and now we're on punt coverage again. And we're going to get in there, and we're going to get the block. We block Matt Bryant, that's not Matt Bryant, Bryant's the kicker. We block that white guy. I might be Leckler. I'm not sure, actually, who the... Oh, Matt Bosher, that's who it is. Matt Bosher is the Falcons punter. So we block that punt after Marius has the roughing the punter call on the previous play. And now an OT tied with three and a half minutes left, or like three minutes, 45 seconds left. 
in the block a field goal and they go for the they go for it. On fourth and two, they went for it. Instead of just getting the points, they tried to go for the win. I would have gone for the points. But uh, we stop them on the 14-yard line, and our offense gets the ball back. Doug Pearson's pretty happy right now in prime time. And there's Matt Schaub, captain pick six. We'll throw pick sixes for food. Oh, that, was a, that was a great year, like five years ago, before the Texans got off. why they had Matt Schaub, who threw a pick six or two a game. What a, what a great time NFL was then. And the way it looks now, our defense is going off the field. Our offense is going on. And we're, we're doing something. Doug Pearson's clapping, so I'm assuming we get the win. The players are meeting in the center of the field. We're, we're shaking hands. Nigel Bradham's name's popping up. He had 12 tackles. That's a lot of tackles. And he's the player of the game, so we get the win in overtime in our first NFL game. We didn't get the start, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to get the start because we do have, like, my, uh, Jordan Hicks and Andre Brown ahead of us, technically overall-wise. But we do get the win over time. So if you guys do like this series, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Show your support, comment below things that can change and do differently. But until next time, YouTube. Peace out and have a nice day.